Good morning, good morning. Um, it's the 20th of July. Just hopping on today to do a little transmission that wanted to come through. I know it's been a little while. I'm back in Sunshine Coast from my trips to uh, Sydney and Cairns. Uh, quite a big time during the Sydney trip, doing some energy work with clients and group also in Cairns. Powerful Goddess Transmission for the 7-7 Portal. So um, I just really wanted to hop on this morning and talk about um, karmic release. Karmic release. So working with uh, people, clients, especially, and, and peers since I got back this week. Morning, Raul. Um, there's been, it's been a, a lot coming up for people in, um, I feel, in their DNA. It's like a, a deeper DNA release is happening at the moment of, of karmic imprinting. And this may be um, past lives, I feel quite a lot, past lives. Hey, Amy. Um, related to um, Egypt specifically, and also um, past lives uh, in your lineage of your mother and your father. Yeah, so there's a lot of energy, a lot of themes, a lot of patterns arising in people um, to clear um, those patterns from uh, the DNA that are holding us collectively back in our energy. So I just really wanted to hop on to say today, if you're experiencing, morning Kylie, if you're experiencing um, uh all patterns, old energies, all themes coming up right now. That is part of the pur purification and the purge out of the time that we're in. The energies are very accelerated. Um, and this is causing uh, an er unearthing and an unveiling of our personal energy um, that is ready to be released and cleared. Uh, definitely in the throat, in the sacral, in the base, I feel a very prime chakras for release right now. A lot of um, sexual distortion, uh, uh, distorted frequencies, uh, uh, distorted pathways uh, is being unveiled, it's un has been unreleased in the collective field so that um, more can come out um, and be exposed, if you will, um, of uh, uh, things that, un that should, uh, should not be hidden anymore. Uh, our own shadow around sex sexuality and how it has been pushed underground, if you will. So firstly, I'll bring through some light language um, for the sacral center, for the sacral center. Yeah. And this, this I, I'm working with this beautiful uh, carnelian skull, Carnean, Colleen, carnelian skull, yeah. And this is to ignite passion, to ignite creativity, but also to release um, deep uh, karmic imprinting around uh, sexual uh, distortion, mistrust, betrayal, especially in regards to the feminine, in regards to Egypt. Um, so just releasing energies uh, that no longer serve in your energy field around the sacral chakra and the distorted sacral chakra of the collective field. Okay. <clears throat> Take a breath, yeah, take a breath. So purifying with water is very important right now. Purifying with water, whether you swim in it, whether you bathe in it, whether you uh, drink it, yeah, is a very important piece of clearing the DNA, clearing the cellular toxicity, toxicity that is arising and clearing from each individual cell through the um, heightened solar activity and um, 
the uh, the dissolution of the matrix, which is allowing more light to come through. So this is um, a very profound time, time <coughs> as we uh, uh, rise and accelerate towards the 8-8 portal, uh, 8th of August, um, 2022. So I, want to work, I also want to work with this um, uh, blue obsidian, uh, a glass skull, yeah. And this one is uh, for the throat chakra, for the throat chakra, yeah. And this is to clear and the issue the energies of um, it's not safe to speak, it's not safe to 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 be to to express your soul light. <clears throat> you must stay hidden. Um, and this is also where there's been sexual um, misconduct, sexual betrayal sexual distortion around the throat chakra, yeah. So, uh, again, I feel like going back to the um, uh, the children in Egypt is very much coming up at the moment. So releasing energies of the, uh, so bringing in freedom codes of expression for the throat, yeah, for the throat chakra. <coughs> Ashbed Borabediga Badanana Kasha Buddana Kaboragana Ki. Shibadika Baragamaru Gudar Banana Pikabaragana Kid Burgana Kabaragana Kabarkika Ka. Shalpur Korkika. Shalpukika Barakanda Tututa Nanana Kabuta Nana Kabuta Nanaka. Shall Badika Budanana Kabatika Burgata Putu to Tutakana Kadankana Kanaka. Shall put to Nana Kanda Puti Titika Patakandika Puta Nana Katutakanda Katika Pukada Nanaka. Shall put to Nana Karapuka Nana Kaputa Nana Kaputa Nanaka. Shall put Tutu 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 dananaka, shilpo tutu 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 dananaka, shilpo tutu 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 dananaka, nananaka nananaka, shilpo tutu tutu nananaka, nananaka 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 tutu Porca porca sharp sharp Take a deep breath in and relax. So just let that energy integrate into your system, release what is needing to be released, purify what needs to be purified. So remembering, remembering that there is a um, a purposeful, a purposeful um, jitapurukana, an agenda, we would say, to steer the collective into fear and catastrophe thinking. And this is pulling on the strands of your karma. This is pulling on the strands of your karma uh, on purpose. Uh, unfortunately, this is unearthing a lot of old um, frequencies uh, of fear and of powerlessness and of uh, fear of uh, expression or speaking up. Uh, and that is their purpose at this time, the agenda of keeping uh, the uh, collective field in karmic uh, Craziness, we would say. <clears throat> but everything that uh, is uh, perpetuated onto the collective by these um, ben, uh, nefarious uh, groups of beings, we would say, has been flipped and inverted uh, by the individual uh, DNA matrix of uh, the light uh, tribe.
and when we say flipped and inverted, is that you are uh, uh, in a cycle of continuous karmic release. And rather than going into the patterns and believing them as such in the now timeline, you are uh, sitting slightly out of the imprinting, sitting slightly out of the uh, of the uh, of the themes and the patterns that are arising, so that you can dissolve them from your matrix and become uh, more a pure light vessel. So everything that has been thrown at you at this time can work in your favor. You can take it upon the path and transform it and transmute it to become brighter and shinier than the diamond. So invite the energy of your higher self to, f to form around your being, to protect you, shumbarkar, like a uh, diamond bubble of light from your earth star to your 12th chakra. Spinning within this diamond is your uh, golden merkaba of fifth dimensional frequency, anchored at the heart space. Spinning at the consciousness of the Christed ones. You are anchored from heaven to earth. As the energies of karmic fear and anger and rage come at you from the collective field, they bounce off your diamond light. <sighs> you are held in your purity and, and your divine perfection. To spin off, to spin out and release the density uh, within your own cells. Bandadrigibi, within the density of the Egyptian timeline. I work with this um, this little uh, skull, uh, raven skull. Uh, and I feel like this, this skull connects me quite strongly with um, Thoth. And he's asking us to trust in the divinity of our own uh, light. He's asking us to shundo de gipi puno kota bananana to tune in to our own life force and intuition that we have the divine answers. We can bring through the messages that are required day by day to support our being. The answers are within us or within the heart space, within the the light of our own higher self, a multidimensional self. And he brings through this emerald light of the consciousness of the tablets to surround the heart space and the heart chakra 360 degrees around your light. And this is to bring forth, to bring forth uh, purity codes, to bring forth uh, light codes of the emerald order, the Emerald Covenant, so that you may feel held and supported through your your uh, your ancestors as they continue to clear the frequencies in all dimensions of your being. <clears throat> so just now, listen to this energy from the Great Master Thoth. <clears throat> 
Let that energy amplify and power your heart space. Strengthen, fortify through all uh, dimensional frequencies of your being. <clears throat> So I just want to say thank you for tuning into this uh, live transmission. Please uh, tag, share in groups if you feel to, or tag people underneath if you feel like it would be of benefit for them. Um, my next uh, uh, online and uh, in-person group is in Sydney for the 88 Lions Gate. Um, the link's on my page, I'll, I'll link it below also. At the moment, the face-to-face -face in Sydney is, is, um, is, is sold out, um, but there is uh, online tickets available. So uh, if you want to come in person, you can shout out and I will try and fit you in uh, if there's anyone cancelled. Um, if you um, <clears throat> want to join online, you can use the link below. Uh, also available for uh, healings, activations and uh, Tune-ins around soul mission, soul path at this time, clearing your energies. Uh, you can private message me if it, that resonates for you. So we are in a profoundly accelerated time. Know that, feel that, accept that. Do what you need to do to support your energy. If that's going within, go within to, to release and rejoice in the acceleration of your being. Exciting, exhilarating, and sometimes a little bit edgy times. So good to keep connected with tribe, connected with peers, supporting the energies, supporting the earth and the grids. Wishing you well, wishing you love. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Connect with you very soon. Take care, keep doing the good groundwork. Keep doing the beautiful collective work that you're doing and the good healing work within yourself and within your clients. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are drawn to any of the crystals I work with, you can private message me and check out the stuff on my wall. Much love. Bye for now. <laughs>